How do you make sense of that data? Big data is shaping our understanding of the world. Lots of times data can be used to enlighten but also confuse and obfuscate things. Data tells its own set of stories. Whether it be at the policy level or at the ground level, we need data. Data is very crucial in terms of uh, restructuring health. The Data Boot Camp in Delhi was a part of Pan Asia initiative in which we are conducting data boot camps in different parts of the region. The purpose and objectives of these boot camps is that to build a community of people who are interested in data from the journalism background, people from the healthcare, people from the policy planning divisions, and people who have an interest in data research. With the extra power of computing and your own imagination, which is probably the most important thing, you can uh, prove uh, stories that nobody has ever found before because they've just never vi visualized it or had access to the data or had the imagination that you have to um, prove that story. We are a huge country, there are massive amounts of data which is not in public space. All this data, number one, should be in public space and boot camps like this will help people on how to mine that data for uh, substantive reporting in journalism. This was a very interesting experience for me because as a physician and a cardiologist, I've never been involved with so many people who are interested in uh, data and it was a new learning experience. Uh, but, but at the same time, I also had a few things to say and learn from others. The experience with the boot camp has been outstanding and especially the response which we're getting from the audience. Uh, for a lot of us who are you know, already working on data and trying to analyze it better for our own professionals, but it was good to see a lot of younger people who are working there. So I think this has a huge impact in the quality of data which will eventually emerge from this country. To sift through the data I think is very, very important because uh, unknowingly people will, can and have also taken a substantive hit as far as in their decision making process is concerned. So if this is utilized properly and people know and they can show the path to others, it will lead to uh, efficiencies both in the private as well as the public space. Data is all the more important today because uh, if you look at some of the greatest stories of our times, it's all originated from databases, from WikiLeaks to the Snowden tapes. Uh, and, and the coming days, uh, data is going to be probably the most important source that you can have in doing any story. This bootcamp was extremely interesting because it brought together three kinds of people. Doctors, journalists and health researchers. And for this, I think to look at the various ways in which these three areas interact is not something that happens all the time and it's very important. It's extremely important to actually be able to establish this with credible data. I think uh, the experience has been wonderful and I'm really glad to see that uh, someone in, like Data Leads is taking this uh, initiative to do this. Uh, data I think can drive everything in, in the way we think about health, whether it's planning, decision making, uh, looking at quality, encouraging accountability. It's uh, really something that needs to be looked into more carefully. It was a great learning experience in terms of trying to bring people together who are working on data, particularly related to healthcare. And more importantly, you know, it is about converting data into information that can be used for decision making, both at the level of policy makers and private entrepreneurs. It was my first time that I attended the, uh, the boot camp. So it's a fantastic, uh, you know, sort of a concept. With the kind of fake news uh, um, taking place right now through WhatsApp, all, all, all over the social media, it's very important to have such great seminars like uh, the one which we had with Paul. So it was amazing and they've been really nice myth busters and I'm looking forward to even more. This particular boot camp was very helpful to me as a teacher of data journalism because uh, I got to know about you know number of you know tools, the digital tools which are available for uh, for identifying fake news, for verification of the content which is available online. And I feel that these are the tools which need to be taught to the students. This boot camp is especially very, very helpful because we uh, are learning how to process data, how to extract data. These are some of the basic fundamental like issues we face every time we look for data. 
there were so many key speakers who spoke about various platforms where you can simplify data and get data checked and verified. So I think it will be of great help. It's very encouraging to see data leads organize this kind of event. I have not been to a, an event like this before, so it's very encouraging. And also to see, I'm just looking around me and all these visual aids, which I think are very, very powerful to connect not only, you know, with the policy, at the policy level, but with the public. <laughs>